Hi, this is Dave from Dutch Tans UK making another short brief video. This time, you can probably spot this isn't a pyramid tent. This is a Karsten 350. It's the second biggest tent Karsten do. The biggest is the 380, which is absolutely enormous. Um, this one is the 350, which means it's 3.5 meters across. We'll go inside in a minute. At the moment, I just want to give you bit of a tour of the outside. Um, Carstens are modular so you get the essentially a giant dome and they have inflatable air tubes. Again we'll look at those in a minute. Uh, they're modular in the sense that Carsten will fit you all sorts of optional extras. They'll cut in doors so you can put two or three or three of these things together. This one comes with the extension canopy set so you've got a section in there then you have a second section in there you can leave the second section off if you want but what it does give you is a huge amount of indoor outdoor space uh, this is me I am five feet nine this top of this is got to be six feet tall lovely big usable space on the top of the door, I've just chucked up the, <clears throat> the door here. We have extra pegs, so this comes out as a door canopy as well, if you want it. But just for the purpose of the video, I've just thrown it on top. Okay, the front of the tent has this second door. And now as we go inside, we have the living space here. This tent has curtains and inside the curtains we have a separate second bedroom curtain. It's all a bit loose at the moment. Um, in terms of space you will comfortably get a double air bed in there or easily two camp beds either side plenty of room in here for that. We've got a window here. On the inside we've got a gauze. On the outside we have a, a detachable plastic window so you can have that open in the rain and the rain still doesn't come in. The main thing with Carstens of course is these tubes. I don't know if we can get very close to them if the camera will pan in. This. These are proper. <laughs> These are really, really strong. Carstens can take very high air pressures in the tubes and, and still stand. And it's the thing that makes these things so solid in, uh, in, in heavy winds. Uh, Carstens are used north of the Arctic Circle quite a bit. They're used for Arctic tents. Uh, the canvas is 340 gram canvas uh, made by Weisslink. The same canvas that is used on DeWards, Holt Campers and Randstads. Uh, very good stuff, great at keeping the rain out. Here we pull these cords and we have vents. There's a vent panel on the top, this completely opens up if you want it. So you get lots of vent uh, airspace in here. Airspace? <laughs> you get lots of uh, air changes in here through the roof if you want. Um, again the front, very very deep rubber side walls which means you can have a river running past it as you can see there there really is a lot of space inside here these are great uh, touring tents uh, particularly good for um, base camp use so there we are all in all a tent uh, a very very good tent um, condition wise We've got some very light staining on there. I don't know that I think this is mould because it's only on the outside, not on the inside. Um, maybe some very historic mildew. Um, apart from that, the tent is in lovely condition. There's some fading that I can show you. One would expect. <coughs> you can just about make out the colour contrast there. This is pretty usual for any canvas tent over five years. Um, 
and it's pretty uniform so it doesn't really you don't really notice it but the tent is slightly a lighter color than it was originally intended to be these are additional storm flaps that obviously just peg down bringing the side walls out even further they're not really necessary the main thing about these that makes them the second thing that makes them very good in the weather is these heavy pegging points at the ground there can you just about make out the metal in there once you peg these things down they really don't bloody move um, if you wanted to you can very easily let the air tubes down if you hit if you hit by a hurricane and you don't want to risk it uh, let the wind blow over it and then quickly pump it back up again uh, but all in all a really really good tent um, if anybody's ever going to challenge DeWard for the best tent maker in the world um, it has to be Carsten Holt Camper are up there as well but in terms of pyramid tents but Carstens are legendary uh, and this is a cracker okay thank you very much